Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at an expansion for Oak and Iron by Firelock Games. This time round it's the Merchant Men. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a look at the Merchant Men expansion for Oak and Iron from Firelock Games. So this box set contains a brigantine flute and light galleon alongside all of the relevant tokens and cards to play with it in game. Okay, so in the box you will get your ship cards, a set of tokens for gameplay. So we've got uh, wake markers, broadside markers, uh, nationalities to mark off whether you're at uh, full sail or anchored. So all of that, good stuff. Have a set of plastic. Uh, well, I suppose trackers to use with your cards to mark your damage and fatigue. Get a set of bases and one, two, three individually bagged ships. So I should be back with them assembled. Back again and all assembled. Didn't take particularly long. They are, after all, push fit plastics so that you can get gaming as quickly as possible. So, start off, we'll have a look at the Light Galleon. Good level of detail. Minimal flashing. Might need a bit of a, a tidy up with a sharp knife around some of the edges of the seals and the deck. But, otherwise you're good to go right out of the gates. It does look absolutely superb. Stat-wise, Light Galleon has a rambunctious boarding of five and a crew of two and a sort of a hull of three. So it can take a bit of damage before it starts to succumb. Really nice little ship there. Next up we have our flute. So In that. It's possible I have some of these masks round back to front, but that's all right, because I'm not planning on uh, painting them immediately. Yeah, I think that one should be at the rear. Anyway, if that is the case, I'll just do this. You can see there how they attach. And that would go in, and that would go in. That's more like our silhouette. Bish bash bosh. Easy save. Uh, less fortitude than the last and less broadside. However, it's nippy and shallow, so less likely to run aground, which is good. All of these cards also have the upgrades on the rear, so you can see not only how much they cost, but also what in-game effect they have. Gorgeous, gorgeous little flute. And finally, our brigantine or brigantine. Again, delightful sculpt. Great detailing throughout, whether it's on the, uh, the deck, the cannon, or on the stern of the vessel. For painters, there's a lot to get into there. And just for gamers, you can go right ahead and use them as is without any issues. Again, that texture that they have on the seals is really nice. It's a subtle little effect. It's just got something there. So there's a bit of texture and it doesn't just look like it's plastic. Might need a slight scrape with a knife, but beyond that, you're absolutely good to go right off the bat. This has the most uh, out of all of them as far as additional rules go. It gets an additional turn for Yar. It also is small, so it increases its fortitude by one when being targeted at cannon shot and for an aft rigging. But there we have it. That is another Oak and Iron set from Firelock Games. 
There we have it, a nice little expansion. Good way to add ships to your fleet. Everybody needs merchantmen, and when nobody's around, they may become pirates and privateers as well. Let me know what you think of the ships below. If you've got into oak and iron, let me know what your favourite nationality and loadout is for your fleet. Hopefully we'll be having some games coming up on the channel very soon, but until then, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.